today I will be sharing with you how I do the simple and easier style of my daughter's hair. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, before I start, Zuri wants to say, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, we're about to do your hair. Okay, so as you can see, I just finished spraying her hair with water because that usually makes it a little easier to comb and divide. So I am taking my rat tail comb and I'm just going with a line from the side of her face to the nape of her neck. You guys can see what I'm doing. This is going to be really awkward to explain. But basically, I'm just trying to create a slanted line and then I'm going to do a triangle just to get the back um, puff. So yeah, now the back puff, I'm just combing it and then I'm going to make sure there's no knots and I take two rubber bands. I use black rubber bands because I don't really like color in her hair. Like sometimes I would use hair things that are colorful, but I just like minimal look on her hair to be honest. But anyways, I've done the puff and now I'm going to go to the other side of the puff. I comb through it and then once I comb through it, I use the rubber band to hold that side of the puff as well. As you guys can see and this is what it looks like so basically it looks just like this one side of puff and the back side of puff and as you can see I make sure to leave her edges because we don't want to like strain her edges she's a baby my daughter is 11 months old right now so I try as best as I can to make sure my puffs are not tight I then follow the path of the last slant to go to the front to create the other two puffs for this hairstyle and as you guys can see I'm just making sure that my lines are smooth and straight and I go ahead and keep using water just to make sure that you know it's easy to comb and I'm holding down the roots of her hair with my hands so that I don't hurt her and I leave out her edges like I'm so conscious of this because we don't want our baby to be as edgeless as her mama. Wait a minute, did I just say that? Yeah, we kind of want her to have some edges, okay? I don't have no edges, but I'm not about to do that to my daughter. But yeah, so <laughs> at this point, she was just getting restless. She was like, I want to play. What are you, are you looking at yourself? <laughs> so I let her play for some little time and then we finished the rest of the puff. And that's pretty much it. As you guys can see, I have four puffs and a star in the middle. And that's the air style. Just a quick rundown. What you want to do is start from this side on the front yeah. and take the line all the way to the back. Take the line all the way to the back. And then start from the other corner and bring the line all the way here. And puff, 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 puff. And that's it. So this is the front of her head. Alright you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found this really helpful. I actually found this hairstyle on Instagram through one of my followers. Hey girl, hey. I know she knows who she is. But I saw this hairstyle on her daughter and I was like, oh my god, I have to do that for Zuri. And it's pretty easy, honestly. And it looks so cute from behind. Like you just see the star and the puff and that the puff in the front looks so good. Like I love it. And also I go ahead to use some extra oil just to get her some shine and to keep her scalp moisturized and that's it i know it's not easy figuring out air styles for your babies but i hope you enjoyed this one don't forget to like comment and subscribe do you like it You happy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Zuri, how are you? How are you? Where are you going? You're running away. You're running away. <laughs> I know. She was.